Hey guys, it's uh, it's Monday. I'm on the road right now. Actually, I'm heading back. I was uh, viewing some properties with a client uh, down in Corcoran, uh, investment properties. Um, anyways, I wanted to, to touch on a, on a subject here, uh, dealing with, uh, particularly dealing with sellers. Um, you know, I get uh, folks that come to me and say, hey, I wanna, I wanna list my house, I wanna sell it, I wanna sell it as is. Um, I don't want to do any repairs, basically put it on the market as is, uh, which is fine. It's fine. You can list your home, sell it as is, uh, but, and I say but, <laughs> a couple things that I recommend to, to my clients, um, if you're going to put your home on the market and sell it as is, do a couple of things. Um, the first thing I recommend is uh, doing a pest inspection, get a pest inspection for the home. And the pest inspection is going to let you know if there's any termites, dry rot, fungus uh, in the property, uh, what the issues are, and they'll usually give you an estimate for repairs. Um, and that's important. The number two is get a general home inspection. Get a good home inspector. Uh, I know quite a few. Um, but uh, get a home inspection, general home inspection, and they're going to check everything. They're a roof, the electrical, the air conditioning unit. Um, basically, they're going to walk through the property and let you know if any issues or items of concern with the property. Um, the third inspection is the roof inspection. Now, most roofers are doing it for free, um, but it'll let you know what the condition of the roof is, and they'll usually put an estimate as far as what the cost would be to get a two-year roof certification. So a couple of things, you know, first of all, you're probably wondering, well, why get the inspections? Well, it's important. If you're selling the home as is, you want to know what the condition of the property is. You want to know if there's any issues or um, what potential issues may arise later. Um, again, it's all about disclosure. So you put the home on the market, you get an offer. First thing you do once you have an accepted offer is you can present those reports to the potential buyer. Now they can review the reports. They know what they're buying. Uh, you've disclosed that information. And, you know, it's, it's uh, when negotiating, it's easier to deal with it up front. Um, on the opposite side of it, if you don't do the inspections and you get into escrow, uh, or you know, you open up an escrow, get into uh, a contract. The buyer has 17 days to do their own inspections, so they're probably going to find a lot of the stuff that you've already, you know, that you should have discovered if you did your own inspections. And, but the difference is that now they're going to come back and try to either get you to reduce the purchase price, get you to credit them, uh, or get you to uh, make the repairs. You know, they can request. Doesn't mean you have to do them but they can request. But that puts them in a better negotiating stance than you, because now you're gonna be cornered into making a call, you know, what to do with these issues. So again, uh, on the listening end, if you're gonna be putting your home on market, I definitely recommend get the inspections done first and then have that be part of your disclosure packet uh, just to minimize your liability and to uh, reduce any potential uh, issues in the future. You're disclosing that information. So anyways, that's just my tip. It's Monday. It's long-winded. But uh, I thank you. appreciate you uh, taking the time to go through and listen to this. Thank you.